Austin and his grandpa are back in today's Throwback Thursday, and Jackson takes his shot to see if he's smarter than Quinn. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Hello Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Faith White, bringing you the news from the 007 studio. The Cena's Drama Department will perform the Drowsy Chaperone on April 24th and 25th at 7 p.m. at McAllister Amphitheater at Garfield Park. For safety reasons, ticket sales are limited to $150 per show. The cost is $8 per ticket and they must be purchased ahead of time. To order tickets, go to cecina.org slash theater. Let's head over to Marcus, who will keep us up to date with our Crusader Clubs. Thanks, Faith. The Christ Crusaders Club will meet tomorrow from 3.30 to 4.15 via Teams. All are welcome to join the Bible study and learn how to better serve Christ as a modern teenager. Contact Mr. Fallon with any questions. The Creative Writing Club will meet on Monday at 3.15 via Teams. Please contact Mrs. Wetzel with any questions. That's it for clubs. Back to Faith for more news. Thanks, Marcus. Don't forget, Stuco is hosting another Crazy Friday tomorrow. Students may bring in $2 to dress out in uniform. Remember to follow the dress out rules, so no hoodies, ripped jeans, tank tops, or other things like that. All proceeds raised will help cover costs for next year's student activities, like, home, like homecoming and red and gold week. Let's check out our lunch menu. another throwback Thursday when we go into the RG show vault to bring you a blast from the past. Plans are underway for this year's Campus Crusade and you may have seen the signs with some details. More info will be coming soon on our plans for this year. With that in mind, Austin and his grandpa are back again this week with another Campus Crusade promo video from 10 years ago. In their last episode, grandpa ran out of gas. But Austin saved the day with a gas card he won as the prize for the Campus Crusade fundraiser. Let's see what they're up to this time. Boy, you find yourself some of them jiggly sticks, didn't you? Grandpa, what I tell you about that? They're gonna write your brain. They're gonna write your it's brain. It's not a jiggly stick. Like the World War it II gases. An Xbox write your brain. controller. It's, a it's not gonna. Stick. It's gonna write your brain. What you playing? Call it redneck and uh, hand racing game. Eh? Not redneck. Eh? It'll be 500. That's what I said. Blood on war game. I'm a beach. War game. War game. So, well, Call of Duty just came out. So. Is that a war game? Yes. Then why isn't it on? Because this is the thing they don't have set up. Put it on. You want to watch the controller there, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Messing everything up again. Oh, oh, right. oh, boy. I'm trying to take my legs out and stuff. All right, I've got it set up. Okay. Now, you use this to shoot, mm -hmm. this to chain What are you weapons. talking about? This button to shoot? Ah, you're dead. You're dead. Mm -hmm. Why did you start? We weren't even ready. I, I was, was telling you I how to was, play. I was ready. You cheated everything. You all, cheated all, solitaire, Grandpa. All is fair. And you cheated all. goldfish. Mm -hmm. How can you treat... Uh, man, restart. Restart. All right. Oh, so, oh, oh gosh. Oh. Grandpa, Grandpa, uh, are, you, are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, but you ain't because I just killed you. Ah, you fall for it again. You fall for it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're like you ain't in the real world. You be shooting five times right now. Okay, Grandpa, I'm actually playing a war game, so I don't need the stories of the war that I've You want a story of a war? Is that no, what you said? No, I don't. Hot dog. Well, that fucks up there, man. Uh, I got you again, girls you with nothing but trouble. Cheating? Girls with nothing but trouble. Don't you dare look away from this TV screen anymore. Mm -hmm. how, how can you live with yourself? You cheated go fish. I live with myself all the time. I live with myself every day. Is that Austin? Is that his grandpa? Is his grandpa beating him in a video game? Sweet. Like that Fortnite. Wait a minute. Game over? Who's that right there? 
Who's that right there? That's you, right there. That's me? Yes. I won? Yes. I won? Yeah! Billy the Kid, man. You know how to shoot him all down. That's a fancy for you. I'm gonna start this thing now. Take that fight. Grandpa. What, boy? Grandma called. Time to go. Plus, I really want to. She doesn't you. tell me what to do. Don't tell her. Oh, well, either way, I don't care. Let's go. No, no, no. Yes. Buy more memes. Fine. You can buy the game if you want. Buy the game? Yes, buy the game. I don't have no money, boy. I've got a gift card. Do you want another one of those? Yes, I want another one of those gift cards. Explain me how that works again. The $10 you gave me. Uh huh. For the walkathon. Uh huh. Your name gets put in a drawing. Uh huh. And then you win something. That's absolutely disgusting. Do you still have my other gift card? I don't want to push the card this time. No. Well, here it is. Let's get the game and get Okay. Alright, go get the game. We're supposed to come with the Yeah, go get the game. Oh boy. Oh. Man. <laughs> Austin just can't win. Last time he had to push the car and lost his gas card, and this time his grandpa beat him in Call of Duty and then uses his new gift card to buy the game. Now to Ava for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Faith. Last night the boys' golf team lost a close match to Bishop Chittard. Chittard finished with 200 and the Crusaders scored 223. The baseball team beat Beach Grove 9-2. They're now 5-2 overall and 4-0 in conference. The softball team won their second game in a row with a 16-11 victory over Covenant Christian. Congrats, Crusaders. Tonight, the JV baseball team will host Covenant Christian at 5-30. Good luck, Crusaders. In other sports news, spring sports photos will be taken after school at 3-30. Athletes should receive order forms from coaches. Holy Cross is looking for student volunteers to help coach their intramural soccer team. Any interested students may contact DJ Smith by phone or email. That's it for sports. Back to Faith for more news. Thanks, Ava. Let's check out today's forecast. It's time for some more questions with Quinn. In our last sports-themed episode, Quinn beat Connor and Jackson just had to mock his JC sports partner. Connor challenged Jackson to see how he'd do, and Jackson accepted. Let's see if Jackson can do any better than Connor. Welcome back to Questions with Quinn. Here we have Quinn. Hi. Boo! Who is this? Jackson. Boo! Wonderful. All right, then. Today's topic again is sports. I've heard, I've heard that you know a lot about sports. Eh, sometimes. Sometimes. And Quinn, you're a sports expert. Well, I beat Connor, but like, I don't know how high that gets me. Yes, well, what's your physique? I assume you're very athletic. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Let's uh, jump in and not waste any more time. Question one. How will we do it this way? Because our format is different today. Because I will finish the question entirely, and if it's multiple choice, I will get the answer, and then you will buzz in by tapping the table. Whoever I hear first, I will let them answer. If they get wrong, then the next person can answer. Seems simple enough? I guess. All right, here it is. Question one. What is the minimum salary for an active roster player in the NFL? Jackson. 600000 Close. Close to 600,000. Yes. That's close. Yeah. I'm going to go 615,000. Ooh. Both wrong. <laughs> yeah. oh, Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's okay. Connor is not. 0 for 1. 0 for 1. Connor was in the Here's the next question Which shark from the TV show Shark Tank owns an NBA team? <laughs> Mark oh, I knew it was Mark Cuban. Cuban. Mark Cuban. Congratulations, Quinn. That was an easy question. Can Jackson pull it around? Jackson's 0 for 2. 
It doesn't matter. You lost it. You lost right, that let's question. Let's move on to the next question. Question three. If you're ready for this one, what year was the MLB that's came to Major League Baseball founded? And I'll give multiple choice because you guys aren't very good. <laughs> A. 1869. B. 1903. C. 1927. Or D. 1953. Please wait till I finish the question. <laughs> Quinn. Well, it's they had over like 120 seasons. So I'm gonna go with 1869. That's correct. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's JC Sports uh, on Friday, Jackson, 0 for 3 already? That's 0 for 3 on the visual. That's pretty much, Quinn, you have mathematically, you're up 2 nothing, I believe. That mm -hmm. is pretty much 1, but let's do it for, this one's for, uh, for pride. Oh. Well, this one's for pride, all right. Which of the following actors starred, which actor starred in the film League of the Rings? Was it A, Tom Hanks, B, Dick Van Dyke, C, Leonardo DiCaprio, or D, Liam Neeson? Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of this movie. I'm gonna go Leonardo DiCaprio. I no, know. it was Tom Hanks. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, that's all for Jackson. Dude, you cheated. You cheated. The answers are right there. What are you doing? He was looking the whole time. Oh, for four. Oh, for four. He was four. cheating that's the whole it. time. The oh, answers were right there. Oh, for four. four. I don't want to hear no excuses no, now. Well, that's how we have time for you questions for Quinn. Jackson, you are not smarter than I'm smarter than Quinn. Yeah, Quinn, yeah. anything for the audience at home. Boo! Boo! Three and oh, you're not correct. Is anyone smarter than Quinn? I don't know. Yes, Stay tuned. Maybe in history we can talk. Well, Jackson, thanks for playing. I guess Connor's probably feeling a little better about himself now. That's it for today's news. Stay classy and give that little extra.